Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email us tmasso at the 1916company.com for purchase and pricing details. Today, we are discussing a watch launched in 2020 as Alango Unzona of Germany was looking to build out its first sports watch collection. It launched this. This is the Odysseus in white gold as opposed to the original stainless steel. It also features a rich and luxurious leather strap for a more upscale and one might even say refined aesthetic than the rough and ready full bracelet. So still 40.5 millimeters in diameter in gray gold, which is a white gold that's white all the way through and never needs plating. It is 11.5 millimeters thick. If we measure just the lugs, then from lug to lug it is 47.2 millimeters. But if we measure the end links of the bracelet, then you find it is a broader 52.2 millimeters across the wrist. So it is a fairly broad watch, although very flat. It has quite a wingspan, and you can see that well on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. So I'm gonna recommend this watch for a wrist of 15 centimeters circumference or larger. So your wrist could be a little bit smaller than mine, but not much. It likes a flat wrist that is broad across the top and relatively narrow in cross section. Though you can see with a domed bezel and a sub 12 millimeter thickness, it will slide under a dress cuff. And this is probably the dressiest look for the Odysseus. I should mention that in addition to this leather strap, the watch comes with a factor black rubber strap so you can still avail yourself of the 120 meter water resistance. Now you can see right here the strap is a rich light brown with calfskin on both sides. You can see on the bottom it is a sort of natural calfskin grain. There is a lightly contrasting gray stitch. No crimping, no gouging. This is a brand new Longa factory strap. Lanka here using a pin buckle because this is a strap cloud Odysseus. It's got two outstanding features. First of all, you can see that the buckle is specific to the Odysseus. It's a little bit more sheer, uh, more dramatically faceted and angular. So keep that in mind. This is not a generic piece. This is made for this model. Combination of facets and polish. But then here are the special features. You can see how the bridge at center has been raised over the supports at the side. So the strap sits inside the buckle rather than stacking up underneath it on the wrist. There's also this little retaining bar. So if you're like me and you have a small wrist and you're going to haul the strap down on the smallest hole or maybe even punch a smaller hole, you know that a tightly strapped strap on a small wrist can get pinned on the pin, so to speak. So this little retaining bar makes it easier to extricate. Of course, Lanka doesn't make its own cases, bracelets, and clasps. So you see BRO in there. That means Brogioli of Italian-speaking Switzerland made this, which is why there is a Swiss St. Bernard head hallmark on the hardware of this German watch. And then you can see right there, SUG, which is actually a German case maker associated with Zinn. And uh, interesting, interesting that you've got SUG on there. The case makers for Longa are generally Centaur, FTR, and SUG. So you'll see their different marks on different Longa products. But there is no arguing with the quality of Longa's case suppliers. As you can see, this is not your standard Longa watch. It is not the standardized case that has become so familiar, and in some cases maybe a little bit stale since 1994. We still have the stepped lugs, though here you can see that they are more angular and dramatically faceted. We also have this case band that's faceted on its polished bevels, but then has this raised satin center set. Section. There's also a sort of crown guard structure around the screw down crown, but what you're actually looking at is a pair of pushers for the, the Dato calendar system. And so these actually have the positive crisp feel you would get on a fine column wheel chronograph like a Longa Datograph. So this is the Dotomatic system from Longa. We have white gold hands, frames for the calendar, as well as indices. The idea being that white gold will not tarnish over time. You can see that red 60, a signature of many historic German watches from the pocket watch era to the present. We have a unique handset only found on the Odysseus, and we have a fluting about the hour track as well as the small seconds sub-register. We'll do a loom shot now. And you can see the watch has no shortage of loom. 
flip it all over and you can see the movement. This is caliber L1551. Now it's an adaptation of the L086, but there are some changes. It gets a higher beat rate to make it more shock tolerant, and it gets a full dual anchored balance bridge rather than a single-sided balance cock, again, to make it more shock tolerant. Now you can see we have richness in the form of German silver, nickel, copper, zinc, an alloy traditionally used on vintage German pocket watches. It's used here for historical reasons, as is the three-quarter style bridge that covers the barrel, the train, and the winding system. We have blued screws, but we also have polished screws. You can see that there are both here for artisanal surplus. You can also see engine turning on the base plate, mirrored beveling on the edge of the bridges, artisanally freehand engraved balance bridge with a black polished swan's neck fine regulation system. Note that we have blued screws fixing a platinum mass to the rotor and that the rotor features beveling, satination, and media blasting. Three finishes on the rotor. The platinum mass being an exceptional feather in the cap of this watch. 50 hours of automatic winding power reserve, and we do have a stop seconds function as well as the dual quick set datomatic system. And you can see this is L155.1 Solanga. And work began on this movement in 2015. That's what the 1-5 means. And then the 5 means it was the fifth movement started in 2015, and the 1 means it is the first revision of it. We have broad streifen, or stripes, across the bridges. We're not going to say Côte de Genève, because we're not in Switzerland here. It is a beautifully decorated movement that is a credit to its maker and every millimeter alanga. If you love this watch, reach out to Team Also at the1916company.com for purchase and pricing details.